First and foremost, man, rest in peace to God, Driller, bro. It's fucking tragic, bro. So just dropped a video of finally speaking on it because he never said anything, um, which I understand. Hopefully we can get some info, see like maybe what exactly happened or anything if he knows. I don't really condone drinking like that either. Drinking isn't really my thing. I started drinking a little bit lately because I, you know, you know, you go to parties, you, you dip, you dabble type shit. End of the day, it's not my thing personally. And I definitely don't recommend drinking and driving, bro. Like, it only leads to shit like this, you know, which is fucking tragic and it, it's sad. What's good, y'all? You so Illuminati. So, it's almost been a month since everything took place. A lot of a lot of just Damn, it was a month a ago? lot of just sad times with my family and stuff. Replaying how I'm gonna come and talk on YouTube a million times and stuff and just trying to replay what I'ma say to his fans and his subscribers and it's just I've spoke on people passing plenty of times, nothing compared to this. And I told myself I wasn't gonna come on this bitch crying in front of the world and shit and he wouldn't want me doing that. Poor and, guy, bro. Me tapping in with my brother, y'all know I'm a deeply spiritual person, so I'm gonna keep everything I got going on private. But I want y'all to know, this is some of the toughest times, some of the hardest to have at. The... Oh shit, like, man! It's hard. <clears throat> oh shit! <laughs> I know, it's like. Oh man. This is sad, bro. Yo, I'm I'm and, doing something. And you know, so don't even he don't even get like this, you know. So that's how you know shit really hit him. When well, some shit really hit I'm a nigga, not man. Like this vid and I'm not watching it when I finish. Like when some shit really hit a nigga, man. Like sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, even if you're not an emotional person. Sometimes you, you there's nothing you can do. It's just gonna come out. You know, I'm the same way. I don't, I don't do this. I don't do the crying shit like that either. But certain, sh you know, when certain shit does happen, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta at least have somebody to talk to or have an outlet. You need, to, you need some something therapeutic to keep your mind off of shit, man. At least. I feel it. I'm the same way. I'm not redoing this video and I'm not watching it when I finish. I understand that. <sighs> so, and my motherfucking my brother passed away last month. And I, I've been doing so good, bro, until now. Like, I've been doing good. I've been trying to help my family and stuff. And now I'm talking about it, it's like I gotta relive this shit. It's not something that shit is not normal, bro. Damn, bro. I spoke on it, but nothing. I spoke on people passing away and stuff, but nothing feels like this. Nothing. When it happens to somebody that's so close to you, it hit different. And it takes you down a deeper path. I'm telling you. I gotta get on my shit, though, because, man, my brother, when we want me on fucking YouTube, crying, like, all sad and shit, because of him or nothing, it's the last thing he'll want. My fuck, my, like, yeah, man, it's best to celebrate my, it. I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna say to you, know, man, like, and what I'm gonna say to his fans and his subscribers, because he left so much stuff for y'all, and there's so much stuff that he had on pause that he didn't get a chance to do for y'all, and it's like, it's all up to me now and shit. Damn. Listen, y'all. But I don't want. You shouldn't have to. I'm sure. I'm sure it's something. I, I'm sure like you're never gonna see this video or this stream or video, whatever. Um, but I don't. I feel like you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to take on that pressure. That you know, feeling like you have to carry on. Um, what he left behind. I feel like that's a lot of pressure. Um, you know, and we'll we you know we'll understand. It's okay. You know, because you got a lot going on for yourself. Uh, I wouldn't want you to have to pick up slack. I, mean, I, I don't. Even, I don't even want to say it like that because you know. You know what I mean though. Like I don't. I wouldn't want to have you like pick up slack and have to take on extra pressure. You know to carry on and a whole another fan base. You know, but obvious. But obviously, this is all like that's all on you. That's all you know your decision. What you want to do? Like if you want to do that, like great for the show. Like do that. You know, we'd love to see that. You know. But I'm just saying, like, um, I don't yeah, mentally. I don't want you to feel like you have to. I don't. Feel, I don't want you to feel like the pressure that you have to do that. 
and that we're relying on you to do that because it's okay if you you know if you don't it's all right you know um we understand um but definitely definitely do take some time for yourself for so sure. like i know you've been taking time but like for real just do what you got to do and come back when you're ready if you come back at all you know like do, take your time for real last month uh, m most of y'all I, I hate that my family jumped to social media when all this shit happened because my brother was a very private person he wouldn't have wanted nobody to find out the way they did soon as all this stuff supposedly i happened motherfuckers jump right on social media and shit man for other people like dude I, it ain't it ain't up to me to tell people how to cope but that's just not me you won't see me man i'm a private person my brother was a private person Damn, this is so Last sad, month, bro. My brother got into a car accident, and, and he he lost his life for this shit. And I I feel like I'm supposed to let y'all know what happened and what took place and what I know for now. But it's all type of stuff going on and cases and weird shit going on and and people in jail and shit and, and like damn, it's just like a whole nightmare, like. Last month, my brother, him and his girl basically had went out. He was with his girl? Fuck. They all did. His girl used to drive 40-something minutes to come see him. That was his baby. Like, that was his girlfriend. Like, I never met her. I never seen her a day in my life. I'm just hearing a lot now that all this stuff took place. My brother was a very private person. He barely even did face cams. Never even really wanted to do face cams. He started doing face cams like around 400K or something. You know, he was a... That's facts, man. He just started doing that shit, uh... I never, I didn't watch, uh, I didn't watch Gotcha really too much, but I, I did watch like a cool amount, and he never did face cam, and he just like recently came out and did like a face reveal and shit. Damn, I'm gonna really miss, I'm gonna really miss him, uh, watching the videos, playing uh, of him playing with so and stuff, and doing all these build videos and the, yeah, all that man. Damn, that shit's, that shit's, mm, 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 mm. we losing too many people out here, man. Very chill, private person. And me and him, our relationship, our bond was like, I was my, Oh, shit, my, bro. That was my guy. That was my guy, man. That was my guy. Fuck. That was my backbone, bro. But that was my guy. I know so don't even want to be doing that this. Was my, that was my baby, I man. know he doesn't want to be doing this right now. In all month, I said I would go come over here and break down the shit. It's impossible. It's impossible. I'm not watching. One second. Y'all know I believe in life after death and all that. So I know what time it is, man. Y'all know I got so much stuff going on to make sure my brother's straight and shit. But thinking about the physical, me never being up to just to tap in with him and talk to him physically, shit hurts. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I bet. I bet. Even when I think I'm like doing good. You know, I feel like I can help my mom and talk to my family. Like, oh, it's going to be okay. Soon as I start talking about it, like, with myself, I, I just break down. And the last thing he want me to do is be fucking hurt. I understand that for so completely because um, I'm not going to go too much into it. I, mean, I don't need my life story, but when I lost mine and I lost my pops, bro, those are, like, the, those are, like, those are like the big, biggest losses for me, like, yeah, those were literally my biggest losses. I'm still trying to get over my pops. That it, just, it was pretty recent, so that's why I'm. That's why I be on on here so much. Cause y'all my outlet, you know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit. That shit really breaking the like when you when you're especially like when you're a person who loves family, rarely loves your family, and even the people who aren't super emotional or sympathetic or whatever, like. Losing a family member that'll break you for real. You lose a piece of you for sure, like because they were a piece of you. Um, so I understand that for sure. You know, I didn't been through the, his exact situation, which is uh, it's, it's, it's horrible, bro. It's horrible. I'm sorry. The last thing he want me to do is be on this bitch crying. So I got to get my shit together. Sorry, yo. I'm sorry for. I don't want to make nobody feel sad, and I don't want nobody to feel sad for me and nothing. And my brother wouldn't want me coming on here like this either. I had to like get my shit together. 
um I was not like this before until I started recording this. I was not like this, y'all. I was dude. I was way stronger than what y'all see me now. It's hard because everything I do reminds me of him. Two K. Mm. He he wear he like when we wore the same do rags. He got dreads because of me. Yeah, bro. I'm just glad I was able to inspire him. <laughs> Fuck, man. Come on, my bad, bro. <laughs> my bad, bro. Man, you're good, you. bro. You're good, bro. You. You're good, bro. This type of shit hurts so I understand, bad, but bro. you cannot. It can't break you. You can't let this shit break you. I spoke on so much That's shit, facts, bro. I knew what I was talking about, but experiencing it for myself, I ain't built for this shit, man. Damn. Damn, that's real. So, it's just get hard because everything I do remind me of him. And, uh, you know, the memories hurt, man. Like, the good times and stuff. What used to be good times is now sad now and stuff for me. And all the moments we had and stuff. My throat was fucking fucked up, man. But I got to get it together, y'all. I'm human, so it's, I guess it is good to show a little bit. But I don't want people to be all sad and stuff. Because this is not the energy he want me to put out there for him. All right. But it's important for me to let y'all know what took place. And what happened. And what's coming. For my little brother. And that's what's most important. And I have to get on my shit. So, listen. August 27th, it was last month. I could, I could tell y'all the story time so y'all can really know what happened. And it's a case going on right now and stuff. So, it's like it's so much information that they gave to us it gotta go in court and attorneys and stuff sure. because it could be a possible like um they said it could be like murder or something bro like it's that deep because mm. a p supposedly the driver was intoxicated and all type of stuff see I, it's important for me not to just throw shit out there because i don't know what can be used against me and my family and it's a very tough time for my family right now so but basically what had happened my brother and his girlfriend, this is his girl, man. She used to, like, drive 40-something minutes just to come and see him, you know. And That's used crazy. used to come take him, you know. I think this is his first time really experiencing a, a female um, who was more advanced than him. You know what I mean? My brother, he was just a chill, he's a chill person. Like, he just wanted to just chill and play 2K, bro. Like, he... Even if it's affecting his channel, no matter what, even if 2K fell off, all this stuff, he was just a chill person, a very positive person. If I got beef with people, he just always wanted to just stay neutral. He used to ask me not to drop certain videos on certain people because he was cool with them and stuff. That's crazy, man. He was just always positive. Dude was a genuinely and good dude, too, man. He... He, I, I always knew he was like a, a, a easy to be taken advantage of by girls. I already witnessed it. And he kept a lot of that stuff away from me. He never wanted to come at me with negative energy. To end. He always wanted to make make it seem like he was doing okay. So he, he hid a little bit of stuff from me because he know I'd be on his head. You know? So my brother met a girl. Um... And, I, and they was in love, bruh. And they was in love. And they used to go out together, just them two. They used to go out together. So last went August 27th, they ended up going out, like, on some normal shit, I guess. I don't even know what club they went to and stuff. But after they left the club that night, I think it was, like, 2 in the morning, hmm. Um, his girlfriend was driving. My brother didn't drive. He didn't even have a license. He never drove. He never drove before. Like, he didn't even want to drive. Damn. Like, this shit is crazy. I'm about to get mine in a few days. Never drove. But basically, after the club, he was riding with his girlfriend, and they ended up going down the freeway. And it, it was like normal. Y'all know the freeway. Um, it, it, in, in Detroit, it was only three lanes. Normally, it'd be a lot of lanes on the freeway, but y'all know the left lane is the fast lane. That's where the cars be flying at, on the left lane. Yeah. And then y'all know right next to the left lane, it's like a medium that's separating the freeway from the other side where the cars is going the other way. Yeah. Oh, what His the girlfriend fuck? on the freeway ended up hitting the medium. 
to this day, I still don't know how. What the fuck? I ain't pointing no fingers at nobody. Wait, what like, the I fuck? Going the other way. Idiom that's saying that on the left lane. And then y'all know right next to the left lane, it's like a medium that's separating the freeway from the other side where the cars is going the other way. Oh, His hell girlfriend no. on the freeway ended up hitting the medium. To this day, I still don't know how. No. I ain't pointing no fingers at nobody. Like, I have went through the darkest just thinking about all type of stuff. I have been through it already. Now it's like I'm kind of at acceptance, but it's still to this day, I have no clue how she hit that medium. Fuck. Uh. His girlfriend ended up hitting the, 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 the wall that's separating, not the wall, uh, the medium that's separating the freeway from the other side where the cars is going the other way. She hit it and she hit it so hard, the impact, it, it blew the airbags. And y'all know the airbags, it can break your nose, it can stun you, it mm. can kill you. It's stopping you from flying out the windows. So basically... When that happened, I guess the impact. See, we don't really, we don't even know what they really went through in that process of like when all that took place. But when she hit it, another car behind her ended up hitting her, and then it ended up being a pile up with like five to six cars. Oh, six cars, probably more than that. It was just a lot of people involved. Shit, After bro. all of that took place, and the car hit her, and then another car hit them behind that. Boom, boom, boom. It was like a pile up, like so it was like destination shit. After that had happened, Damn. they car was spent, turned sideways in the fast lane. Ooh. It was spent, turned sideways in the fast lane. So you couldn't see the lights. You couldn't see nothing. It was spent, turned sideways in that fast lane. So from witnesses, they said, I, and this is another thing. We don't even know how long the process was taking place. Like, w was it 20 seconds? Did it take 10 seconds? Did it take a minute? How long did everything take for all the cars to finally Damn. come to a stop and then for all this shit to happen? See, we don't know nothing because the fucking police just pushing everybody to the side and they can't tell you this and you we, we can't tell you that. Damn. It's like, dude, we my, my, my family is going through some of the most darkest times and they still can't even get certain stuff from my brother and know certain things until all this court shit take place. And all this shit is new and it's all weird and it's very uncomfortable. But basically... Once that happened, the guy, a, a guy who, a guy, a witness said that he seemed, they both got out the car, but my brother's girlfriend was stunned. Now, remember, they got out the car, but they were still blocking the entire left lane. But it's all type of cars around that, and it's all type of accidents around them. So you wouldn't think a car Damn, was that's really crazy. Like on some regular shit, right? So when my brother and them got out the car, a guy said he seen my brother. He was trying to help up his girl so they can hurry up and get off the freeway because oh, it's probably a drilling. You don't even know what's really taking no, place. No, bro. It's probably all type of, you probably like nervous. I don't know if he was hurt. He probably was, you know, we don't know if he was limping, nothing. But they said his girl was dazed from that, from her hitting the wall and like the, the impact and stuff. So she was on her knees like she was st like dazed. And the guy said he seen my brother trying to, like, help her up so they can get and, like, trying to help her. And in the process, a car with a green truck with no lights, and they said this person was intoxicated, came in that left, that was going in that left fast lane and smacked and hit both of them. Oh, my and God. Twice. And after hitting them, he smashed into their car. And they died from the impact oh, of the that's hit. Horrible. They didn't get smashed or nothing. And that's how it happened. Oh, that's horrible. Fuck. And now, right now, at this moment, we just waiting. It's it's like lawsuits and stuff happening. And it's like a lot of stuff going on. And I was in Detroit with my family for two weeks. And it was just so dark. And his funeral was just so... I just felt like the way that my family did things, he wouldn't have... I, it wouldn't have set right with him. You know, because... Me and my brother talked oh, about life horrible, after death. Bro. Me and him had deep, deep, deep conversations about just stuff and different things. And his beliefs was completely different from the way that they did for him. Hmm. And That's unfortunate. But that's what happened. And, that's, and once that happened, you know, I end up getting a call. Like, y'all know I live in Arizona and stuff. And I got the call in the morning. It was just a complete nightmare. I don't, I can't talk about that because I'm gonna cry again. So I wanted to be neutral. I feel like this is him speaking through me, so I can stay balanced because I feel like I just feel like I could just cry my throat tight. 
but and that's what happened and once that happened it was like oh, some of y'all probably seen the news clips it was a whole bunch of just different cars and stuff Damn. but my brother basically he he tried to save a life man he went out trying to save his girlfriend life oh. trying to get her up from the freeway so they can you know and the last thing you would think is a car would still be going that fast and driving while it's a whole pile up of cars crashed on a freeway. That's actually horrible. What so the fuck? So this is where the case and the, 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 the lawsuits and stuff is taking place. What is wrong with But people? one of the things I want to tell y'all, my brother looked so much. He, he had so much stuff that he was holding himself back from posting. And just like every other YouTuber, you probably got some stuff that you want to put out, music and all type of stuff. And you, you, you holding your own self back. He was his own enemy in his mind. But one thing that I do know, he was looking forward to NBA 2K23. He loved 2K so much. That was his coping. When he was going through his darkest times, he could just chill and play 2K with his bro Gusto and them. Damn, and, man. You know, he, 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 he really respected a lot of content creators and showed a lot of people love. And I... Like, even when I was beefing with YouTubers, he always was neutral with the YouTubers. He was just so positive. In this world, it's not for positive people, bro. As y'all can see, why? Like, dude, what the fuck? Like, dude, all of these people still walking around, dissing the dead and doing all this, but people that's so innocent, stuff is happening to them. Which is, which is, um, I had a conversation with somebody about that, uh, what he just said, um, and I honestly believe, which is so, like, unfortunate, yet it's good, I think. I think it's, I think it's good. Now, let me, let me find the best way to word this. I think it's a good thing that a lot of the most positive and kind-hearted and pure people are not on this earth or are preparing to leave this earth, you know? Um, because it's, like he said, it's not for positive people. This or this are like this world is just getting worse. Like people are getting worse. The things that are that people are capable of and the shit that people are doing is just getting worse every year. Like it ceases to amaze me. Like some of the shit I I see in my like my feed on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. Like I always see something crazy like wild crazy shit that like wouldn't even be like wouldn't even be thought or nor, nor heard of like maybe like 40 years ago you know like it's just getting crazy out here man everything bro like shit our, our, even our our damn our damn um um our environment is getting messed up by people like people are just not good people are not good you know i always say people are not good people you know like they're not um and I'm not gonna sit here and say that I myself am perfect because nobody is. But I would like to think that eventually I'll be in that um, criteria of kind-hearted, pure people one day. Cause I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm there yet. I also don't think I've awakened my third eye as well. Cause that's something I would like to do. I don't think I've done either of those things. But I think when I do, that'll bring me closer to. Uh, That'll bring me closer to God, and that'll bring me closer to uh, his kingdom. So, you know, whenever I do do that, I do believe that'll be around the time that I exit this world. Um, because I feel like that's God calling on these people who are just who he deems worthy enough to come into his, uh, his kingdom already. You know, sometimes, um, sometimes... You know, a lot of people don't get to live a full life, but I don't know. I feel like God is just picking people that he that he genuinely feels like is ready to be with him. And I don't know if I worded that the best way. I don't know if anyone understood that, but that's just that's that, that's the best way I think I can put it. Um, and that's what I wholeheartedly believe in my heart as well. Um, I was on TikTok live earlier. And I was just, I was basically saying the same thing that um basically what I just said and how like you know people are just people are it, like it leaves me speechless sometimes of what a person is capable of what a person can actually do like I legit was just playing basketball probably like four days ago three four days ago with the homies at the park and just like like a gang of niggas probably like five people in hoods and gloves. You can't even see their faces. They they walk walk down on a nigga, 
who was with his son, aired this shit out, dipped, you know, like, in front of kids, bro, his, his child and a bunch of other kids, and us playing basketball, like, you know, shit's fucking crazy, man, honestly, and it, it's sad, it's really sad, um, but yeah, I do think that, I do think God, I think God chill is in heaven, you know, um, Damn, man. It's just crazy, bro. It really is. And it's sad that he, you know, he was, and like, and like so said, he was, he died trying to save a life, man. His girl, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. But that shows you how, that shows you how good of a person he was and how selfless he was. He, you tried to, he tried to save a life and ultimately it did cost his, but, you know, both of theirs, sadly, but. It's important that he tried, you know. It, it's really, it, I don't know. It's really not even much more I could really think to say about that because it's just so sad, for real. And it's just, it's a lot of other things I do want to say, but I'm gonna keep it in because I'm gonna be rambling and this isn't about me at all. So um, I'm just leaving, just literally just me giving my condolences and my feedback to the situation. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna finish the video. And I'm not blaming or pointing no fingers. I know just I spoke on stuff like this a million times, but nothing compared to actually feeling it for the first time yourself. Yeah, I understand that. So right now, my brother has an album. He got I've got to drop on his channel. He has uh, stuff that I don't really want to put out there because I don't want people to steal it. But from this point forward, I'm going to live out his dream for him. He's going to be speaking through me, period. I have to make sure I'm on my shit, and I have to make sure he experienced everything, period. And y'all got to understand, I'm going to be a completely different person now. I'm completely different. This has taken me down a different path that I have never experienced. But one thing I tell y'all, I want to tell y'all, my brother good. I tell y'all that right now. He good. Mm -hmm. My family going to be good, and we going to get through this, and we got to keep pushing. I don't want nobody to be all sad and emotional because that's not how he was he always pushed positivity you can go look at his tweets go look at how he is look look at his mind he was a positive person man he was completely different when it came to that shit for me and him but one thing that was my brother he was my little brother he looked up to me i'm glad i inspired him to you know start playing 2k and become a youtuber and stuff and he got a lot of videos talking about story times and all type of stuff Y'all knew him as God Triller, but that was my fucking, that was my, that was my baby, man. That was my, that was my little man, man. And it's going to take bro. me some time, but I feel like, you know, shit, y'all the only fucking brothers I got, man. Word. Yeah, I got to just make sure I can stay strong. You still got pushing. my support. You still always got I mean, my support, just, bro. Just going For through real. a lot of stuff, just trying to get back to hooping and trying to just find balance again because I just was going through my own stuff and then this happened. But it's not going to break me, you know, because I got to be there for my family, man, and all my, and, uh, and the girls, and my sisters, my mom. My mom's birthday was yesterday, and Damn. I, you, I said I was going to drop the video. Probably couldn't yesterday. even celebrate that shit for real. But I'm just glad I got his story out. And now I have to. It's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. And y'all about to see it all taking place. But man, I feel much better now. And that y'all know. And I'm going to keep y'all updated as far as the situation, obviously. Mm -hmm. I love y'all, man. I'm sorry I came over all emotional and stuff and making people feel all sad. I ain't want to do that. I wanted it to be positive, but um, show love while they here, man. Show sure. that real love while they here. Like, answer that call. Check on people. Just tap in with people. And let your family know what you want when you pass. It don't matter if you old. You we ain't got to pass 20, 50 years from now. Just say something about it. Throw up. Hey, man, I want to wear this. I want to look like that. I want to do this. I want to be cremated. I want to do this. Because, man, once it happened, people be left clueless with and they don't know what to do. And it'd be nothing but bills and debt. Yeah. I love y'all, man. I love you, bro. Long live God, true. Man... 
That shit's sad, dog. Like, I already, I, I said most of what I said already, but like, damn, man. I feel like, but I feel like so, I feel like this, this video, I feel like so had to, needed to make that. Not just, for, not all, not only for, just so that we can know what happened or anything. Like, cause that's not what it's about. Like, when, like, bro, we're, we're not important in his life nor situation like that. If that make like, like, like his supporters are important. I'm not trying. I'm trying to say like, you know, we're not obligated to know what happened. We don't need to know all the details. We don't. He doesn't need to tell us anything. You know, like. But I'm saying like, I feel like he needed this for himself. Um, he, you know, like it wasn't. It wasn't just about us knowing and, you know, having to know the full story on what happened and everything, which it is. It is um, good to know. You know, but um. Yeah, I definitely think so needed that for himself because, um, I th like I said earlier, I think this video was therapeutic for him. This was his outlet. This was a way for him to get out um, his feelings, his emotions, and everything that he's been keeping inside because I feel like he never, um, like he said earlier, when he talked about it, he started like crying and shit like that, you know, um, because it's people like, I, I can I can relate how, you know, you can, you, can, you can hold in emotions and not speak on them and, you know, you can keep holding them in, but it's just going to bottle up. And then when you finally do find that outlet or that person, you know, to talk to and you can get it out some type of way, the emotions gonna flow. Um, and I feel like that's what's happening here. And it's healthy to, to just release it, you know, to not to keep it locked in, you know. I think it's healthy for him. And I think this was a good video for him to um just get everything that he needed to say out. And um also updating us on, you know, the plans he has to continue his brother's legacy which like i said earlier i don't feel like i feel like he shouldn't be pressured to do it but it also it should be a hundred percent um his decision on if he wants to uh what he wants to do and when he wants to do it you know because you know people need time with shit like this you know so i definitely and, and i i do ex i do expect things to be a little different too because people change after shit like this you know um yeah like like when my like my, my pops passed like I changed internally and I and I know it um I don't know I don't know if a lot of people noticed it about me because a lot of y'all didn't even know it happened I never talked about it but um yeah I, I felt I felt it and I still feel it like like I said it's a it's a piece like these people who are really close to you are a piece of you and when they're gone a piece of you is missing so it's like damn you gotta find other shit and new things to come and fill that spot um, but yeah, man, I, I, I don't, I know you probably gonna never see this video. So, but if you do, you just know you got my support, my condolences. Um, and I commend you for even willing the strength to come and make this video. Cause I know it's a hard thing to do. Cause I, I wanted to make a video for my pops, but I never was able to do it. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. You know, it just, it wouldn't happen. Um, I might do it one day. Uh, but I still, I just can't do it, but respect to you, my boy, um, but yeah, we don't, we don't get up off of this, but man, rest in peace, man, rest in peace, God Triller, man, and, and, and to his girlfriend, too, and my condolences to the both families, too, that shit, that's sad, man, don't drink and drive, bro, like, if you, if you don't listen to nothing I say, people watching this, if y'all don't listen to nothing I say, just, please, just don't drink and drive, bro, please, like, it's fucking stupid.